Hello guys, today let's make eclairs. As a prep, sift cake flour and warm eggs until it feels slightly warm with water bath or microwave. In the pot, add water, milk, salt, sugar, and cubed butter, and heat it at medium heat until it starts boiling. Shake a pot sometimes so that the butter melts easier, and especially toward the end, turn the pot to make the temperature even. And once the milk started boiling hard everywhere, stop the heat and add the sifted cake flour and mix until it looks combined like this and cook at medium heat again to cook starch and flours all the way and that is because the starch and flour is not cooked enough yet at this point we need to heat it to about 176 Fahrenheit which is 80 Celsius to make the starch very gooey and stretchy which is very important for the pastry shoot to rise and expand in the oven you could insert a thermometer to check the temperature, but this is how I usually judge. And how long that takes really depends on like the amount of the dough, the size of the pot, and the strength of the heat and so on, but it usually takes about one to two minutes. Once it's heated enough, remove from the heat and knead just a little bit with a paddle or spatula before you add eggs. By doing this, we can make sure that the dough is even and it also prevents eggs from cooking partially. And while the dough is still hot, add eggs. Add about one third to half amount of eggs first and continue mixing until it comes together. And add about the half of the rest and mix until it's combined again and add the rest. Mix until it's evenly combined. To check the consistency, scoop a lot of it with a spatula and drop. It should fall in 3-5 to five seconds and the dough should be hung in a triangle shape. To pipe easier, I like to use flour as a guidance. With one batch of this recipe, you can get about 10 eclairs. You can change the thickness and the length as you like. As you can see, drop the butter instead of dragging it when you pipe. You can see that the pastry tip is lifted up when I pipe. And hold the bag with the other hand to support the weight so that you can draw the lines without being shaky. This can be very difficult at the very beginning, but you get used to it more after some practice. At the end, insert your thumb in the pastry tip and squeeze everything out. And at the very end, spray a plenty of water all around. If you don't have a sprayer, use a brush. You can mix eggs and water, just like I did in my cream puff tutorial. But by using only water, the baked shoe gets a little bit softer. And bake right away before they cools down too much. Bake at 375 Fahrenheit and turn it down to 350 and stop the oven and wait before opening the oven door to cook the center all the way. And for any shoe pastry, it's extremely important not to open the door while you are baking them, especially toward the beginning to the middle because the shoe collapse with the temperature drop. Once they are cooled, make two holes on the bottom using a pastry tip or you can also use chopstick or something similar don't add too much pressure and we go fast like this so that the shoe is not going to clack and insert a toothpick or something sharp to break the skins inside in the pot add milk vanilla beans and sugar and heat them at medium heat. Meanwhile, mix egg yolk and sugar together until it gets pale like this. 
and add cornstarch, all purpose flour, and salt. Mix really well until it gets smooth. And once the milk starts simmering, add some of it and mix really well. And slowly add the last of the mixing. And heat it at medium heat over mixing really fast. Once it started getting thickened a little bit, remove from the heat and mix really fast until it looks nice and smooth. And immediately heat it at medium heat again and keep mixing really fast evenly. And it'll soon start boiling and get really thick. Keep heating a little bit more until it gets looser and shinier like this. Add butter, mix, and strain it, and mix at the very end with a hand blender if you have it. It's gonna make this pastry cream even smoother. In the past, I made a pastry cream tutorial. There, you can learn about pastry cream more in detail. So check out the video after this and wrap directly on the surface and chill in the fridge until it cools down completely. Once it's chilled completely, the pastry cream should set like this. Don't worry, that means the starch in flour is cooked enough, so it's a good thing. Simply break it down and mix with a spatula or paddle to make it smoother and softer again. To make the simple chocolate filling, we're gonna mix chocolate heavy cream and the pastry cream. Take about a ounce from the whole pastry cream and we're gonna make ganache by mixing melted chocolate and heavy cream. Mix heavy cream little by little, dividing a few times. The chocolate was very warm and the heavy cream was cold but not extremely cold. Add about half of the ganache to the pastry cream and mix really well. Add the rest and mix until it looks nice and even. The cream is a little bit on a softer side because the ganache was not cold. So I'm going to chill this in the fridge a little bit while I am filling the vanilla pastry cream. I like to wrap the cream and insert in the pastry bag. That way you can add the chocolate filling without cleaning too much with the same bag. Feel from one side and the other side until the cream starts coming out from the outer hole. That means the cream is packed full. Here's a little story. When I was a baking student in the class, we made cream puffs and I had to submit the cream puffs to my chef. He was one of my favorite French pastry chef. I thought I made a shoe pastry pretty well and I was very confident. After he ate it, he showed me inside and said, look at this little amount of pastry cream and this is not cream puff. This is not. It's so disappointing. And at the time, it was almost like a little culture shock. I did not think it was that big deal. Since then, I try to feel cream as much as I can. And that really changed the whole experience of cream puff and eclairs. So now I know how disappointed it was for him. Lesson learned, feel as much as it can hold until it bounces back from the hole. Now let's finish this eclairs with the most basic glaze, which is melted chocolate. By adding some oil, the chocolate froze a little bit better and also the chocolate is not going to be too crunchy after it's chilled. Try not to mix the melted chocolate vigorously so that it's not going to hold a lot of air bubbles in it. I highly recommend using Kubechu chocolate, but you can also use chocolate chips if it's not available. That's it. 
Eat it right away or chill in the fridge until you serve. The chocolate gets set in the fridge so it'll turn into a more matte look. Enjoy this amazing eclairs in many shapes and sizes. The soft shoe pastry and the melty creamy fillings are so perfect together. The chocolate filling remains nice and creamy also. If you tried it at home, please let me know about how it was. And I will always love to know how you enjoyed it with your family and friends. To store it, wrap tightly or put it in an airtight container and it can store for up to four to five days, but eat within that day for the best taste. About a few months ago, I shared how to make cream puffs and it's also made by powder shoe. So it's really the matter of how you pipe. And also for eclairs, you almost always glaze the top with something like melted chocolate, fondant, Miller glaze and so on. This recipe is slightly different from the cream puffs recipe. Shoe is slightly, slightly softer with this recipe. And if you haven't checked out the cream puff tutorial yet, please do. There, I explained a lot deeper about all the baking science behind shoe pastry. It's kind of like shoe pastry masterclass. And don't forget to check out my vlog. I started my vlog last June and I'm slowly adding up new recipes. Every time I share a new recipe here, I also write the past there. As you may be able to see, it's still not perfect. I'm still learning how to write, but I think I am improving. So um, please check that out. Let me know what you think. All right, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy pastry living and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.